Welcome back. It is Wednesday, April 10th in the NBA. My two best bets are on the way. What's going on, everyone? It's Austin from Calling Our Shot. Let's recap yesterday. Another winning day. A big one for us. Plus 0.1 units. Yes, it was barely a break-even day, but 3-2 and two overall. Let's talk about it. LeBron James is over in points plus rebounds. Sweat free. He got the job done. I think he almost hit that over in just points alone. Draymond Green, one of our added plays of the day, is over in rebounds plus assists. He got the double-double. We'll take that. Gary Trent Jr. is under in points plus assists. Another added play. He cashed that. Our two losers. Let's talk about it. Anthony Edwards under in PRAs. That might be one of the worst wagers I've ever given out. Man, dropped 51 points. I knew it was chalked after they were down by like 20 in the first quarter. I was like, all right, well, he's going to go and take over mode. And then the one, yeah, whatever, hand up. I get recommended an Ant-Man under. I deserve some flack for that one. But the one that I really am aggravated by was PJ Washington. At over two and a half first quarter points. It was a one and a half unit play, which is why we are, you know, a little bit barely break even. PJ had four field goal attempts, three three-pointer attempts in the first quarter. And yeah, he came up with the goose egg. Zero points. Look, if you tell me he's shooting four times, three threes, I'm going to take that bet any day of the week. He just didn't knock him down. Ended up going 0 for 7. Great work, PJ. But without further ado, we're going to dive into today's picks. And like I said at the top of the show, two picks in this video, but there will be an added play down below. I'm going to go out for those three picks. We're going to find another one. And the added plays have honestly been pretty dialed in recently. So stay tuned. Added play. Pin comment. Check it out. I'll tweet it out as well. I'm going to find another one that I really do like. We have about, I don't know, six or seven games on. A lot of teams on back-to-backs. But I really like the slate we got cooked up for you. And let's dive into it. If you haven't been tapped into the MLB videos, that's on you. We're on like a 26 and nine run. I said at the beginning of April, we normally have a pretty good April historically, and it's been a good start to it the first nine days. Hopefully we can continue that momentum. Those videos are posted right before this one, but you guys came here for NBA picks, two picks in this video, one in the added play in the pinned comment. The first play of the day is a guy by the name of Macau Bridges, over 15 and a half points, minus 115 on DraftKings. Now pour one out for Macau, who's had a terrible season after coming over to Brooklyn, well, you know, last year, I believe, whatever. He had a good, you know, run, but this year, big things were expected from him, and he has not stepped up to the plate. He has not had a good year, but there's still time to turn it around. You get about three games left on the season, and hopefully he can uh, end the season with a strong note. I think he'll have a much better year next year, but Macal obviously is, like I said, not had the best year, but let's talk about him. He is under in two straight games for him, 13 and eight points on only 10 and six field goal attempts. That was against the Pistons of the Kings. The Kings game, oh, boof. They scored like 77 points. The Kings, have, like I said, have been a pretty good defense. Now, on the season, McCall is over this line in 66% of games. Now, typically, Bridges is not a guy I'm coming out and rushing the back. It's not, you know, like he's been scorched earth. He's like, oh, this guy's on fire. No, but in an A-plus matchup tonight, I will take my chances with Bridges for one last time. Worth noting, this is also the Nets' last home game. The fact they're 10.5 point favorites, kind of a shock to me, but I expect McCall to play pretty well in his final home game of the season. Now, over the last 10 games, why I say this is an A-plus matchup is the last 10 games, the Raptors, who are coming into Brooklyn, have allowed the most catch-and-shoot threes made and three-point attempts in the NBA, plus the third-highest field goal percentage on catch-and-shoot attempts. So, not only are they letting guys shoot a ton of threes, they're giving guys great looks, and the guys are knocking them down. They're NBA players. If they're going to be wide open, they're probably going to make them. Well, we know Bridges, not necessarily a guy that's going to go out there and, you know, break you down. He's going to go crossover, dribble, step back, fade away. That's not really Bridges' game. What he's doing is a lot of catch and shoot. In fact, over the last 10 games, McCall's has been averaging 7.3 three-point attempts just via catch and shoot. He's shooting 45% on them. I think he's averaging about 10 points per game just on catch and shoot attempts. And we just saw him score 13 points on 5 of 15, shooting 3 of 12 from 3 against the Raptors just, whatever, two weeks ago. Now, obviously, he did not go over in that game. But if you tell me Bridges is going to shoot 15 times tonight, 12 threes, I'm going to take this bet. Any single day of the week, he's going to get the field goal attempts tonight because I think this is a great matchup where they leave him wide open. It's not a great matchup for guys like Cam Thomas, maybe Dennis Schroeders of the world who are more of a pull-up jump shot type of guy. The Raptors will typically converge on those sort of attempts. So I think Bridges is going to continue to see wide open shots. He has not had as great of a matchup recently since Chicago, really, against the Bulls, who were really bad at giving up catch and shoot attempts. He scored 25 points in that one. Is Bridges the best player in the world? No. Has he sucked this year? Kind of, yeah. But I really think this is a spot where if it's going to happen, it's going to happen today. I consider doing 20 plus points plus 200. I really think 16 is not crazy for a guy like Bridges in a fast paced matchup against the Raptors who will run back and forth. And when they're running, they're probably going to collapse on the guy bringing up the ball up the court. 
and it's probably gonna be Mikhail Bridges standing on the wing wide open he just has to knock down some shots tonight and I'm confident he can get it done catch and shoot is what he does if you want to take his over in threes I like that at two and a half but I think there's a chance you know maybe he gets some mid-ranges in there too so Mikhail I need 16 points out of you man last year you were so good to us this year haven't been as good but I'm confident you will bounce back tonight Mikhail Bridges over 15 and a half points my first pick of the day second pick of the day is a guy that owes us money and not, there's no better time to get it back than today. PJ Washington, over 11 and a half points, minus 110 on DraftKings. Now, I won't lie to you, I was that close to just taking PJ Washington as over first quarter points again at two and a half. It's about minus 110, but I'm going to go full game here. Now, obviously, if he scores, hits the over in, first, in the first quarter, great. If he wants to wait until the second quarter score, fine. But I really think this is just a spot PJ needs to bounce back in, and it's a good spot for him to score, whereas it's not, you know, a great spot for his teammates. Last night, as I talked at the top of the show, PJ couldn't throw a ball into the ocean. He scored with one point on 0 for 7 shooting. And prior to that, though, he had scored 12, 20, 19, 32, and 14 points, going over in five consecutive games. Good, solid field goal attempts. Derek Lively's out. He's going to be needed out there for defensive purposes against the Miami Heat. Now, obviously, the Heat are good defense. We know that. But they're also really, really hard and going to make its life difficult on Luka and Kyrie. And what the Heat give up is a lot of spot-up and catch-and-shoot opportunities. Now, the Hornets give up that, too. But when P.J. starts off the game over 5, you don't expect him to keep firing it up. I mean, what what is he supposed to do? Continue to keep chucking it, especially with Luka and Kyrie carrying the show? No, that's not going to be the case. But I think he bounces back here. And like I said, I think he hits his over in first quarter points. But I'll just go for full game as both these two teams are on a back-to-back now, the Heat just wanted a double OT last night. Mavericks obviously beat up on the Hornets. Now, this season, the Heat have allowed the sixth most catch-and-shoot three-point attempts in the NBA. And P.J. scores 36% of his points via spot-up opportunities, basically catch-and-shoot, where the Heat ranks 29th in the NBA, second to last. The Heat are very good. Man in the paint, stopping you from getting in there and doing your thing down there. That's not really where PJ does his business. What he does is normally shoot a lot of three pointers, and he's actually had some good success against the Miami Heat in his hist- in his you know career. And I think this is a spot coming off an 0 for seven game. Obviously, no NBA player wants to go out there and go 0 for seven and be like, oh yay, whatever, great job. No, they're going to be a little bit pissed, and they're probably going to want to come in here and just put that game behind them. And there's no better time to do that than on a back to back. Now, obviously. PJ, we need 12 points from him. Last game against Miami, this was as a member of the Dallas Mavericks. He scored 10 points, so did go under, but 12 shots, didn't shoot the ball well, 4 from 12, 4 for 12, I think 1 for 6 from 3. That was on March 7th, about a month ago. His last three games, though, with 30 or more minutes versus Miami, 27, 32, and 15 points. So he had good success versus them when he got the minutes when he was a member of the Hornets. I think he continues to see some good, a lot of minutes tonight. They kind of need him out there for defensive purposes. We've seen him even approach 40 minutes in some of these games recently. So I really think this is a good spot to back him. I doubt Luka or Kyrie rests because, you know, it is a back-to-back. They could, but I doubt that happens. They kind of are still fighting for playoff seating. So I think P.J. Washington, who will make us back some money tonight, cashes his over 11.5 points. I don't mind it at 12.5. We need 12 from you, P.J. I really like you, man. Go dominate. I know last night. Wasn't your fault, man. You just couldn't buy a bucket in Charlotte. That's not your fault. Now in Miami, go put on a show. At least knock down some shots for us. I think he gets a field goal attempts. I think he gets 10 shots. And if he doesn't hit 12 points and 10 shots, whatever, I'll chalk it up to the game. I'll take any guy with those field goal attempts. Let's hope he knocks down some shots in Miami tonight. PJ Washington over 11 and a half points. My second pick of the day. As I said at the top of the show, a third pick will probably be in the pinned comment. Won't be immediately when the video gets posted, but I'm going to be in the lab right after the video goes live trying to find a third and final play of the day. If you have any suggestions on plays you love, drop them in the pinned comment. We always love this. It's a community. We're all trying to win all together. So drop your favorite picks. If you have a reasoning why you like the guy, put that down below in the comments. We're all trying to make some money together. So drop your favorite picks down below. If Like I said, if you haven't been checking out the MLB videos, that's on you. I'll put the link right here. You have no excuse but to go click on that link also we have a new video on the second channel going live later on today i'll put a link there too you guys have a wonderful wednesday i'll see you down below in the pinned comment with an added play let's go three and out today and i'll see you guys back again tomorrow with some more action peace